So here we are in Minecraft and one of the nice things that you can do is you can uh, create different characters. So besides an NPC, what you can do is you can use the armor stand to create some really unique characters. So I'm just gonna uh, tap E on my keyboard to bring up my inventory. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a bunch of items. The first item that I'm gonna need is an armor stand. And I could see it there, kind of looks like a paint easel. And I'm going to put that in my inventory. I'm also going to look for a cauldron. A bucket of water. And some dye. Maybe I'll select this pink dye. And then some leather clothing. Maybe a shirt. And then also probably a head for our, so in this case, you could search for like a head. So you get some different items. Maybe we want this dragon head. Okay. And in order to place this item, we need to be in world builder mode. So I'm going to press the T key and that's gonna open up the chat and I'm gonna type forward slash world builder w and then the letter b and then my world builder is going to be updated to status true and what i'm going to do is i'm going to place my armor stand down there it is there i'm going to walk forward a little bit and then what i'm going to do is i need to um, mix up my dye with the cauldron so i'm going to place the cauldron down Up in some water. And then our dye. So there it is there. And then I'm going to put my leather tunic inside of the cauldron. There we go. And then you can see down in my inventory, it's changed to the color pink. I'm going to go back up to my uh, armor stand and I'm ready to equip. So I'm going to right click and you can see I've added the pink uh, tunic there and then I'm going to select the dragon head and add it to my my character. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to update my world builder. I don't need that on anymore so I'm going to press the escape key. I'm going to press the T key to open up the chat forward slash WB. So I have my character here and I would like to pose uh, my new character. So I'm going to click on the shift key and you're going to notice that off in the right there, I have the option of right clicking to pose my character. So you can make your character dance. And this would be a great idea if you're filming this and you wanted to add a little bit of motion and emotion to your characters. Thanks for listening.